artist friends, are you ready to draw something great? Well today I'm going to teach you how to draw a snake, but not just any snake slithering across the ground because I'm pretty sure you guys can do that by yourself. I'm going to show you a snake that's coiled up in a tree. So get your pencil and your paper or your crayons and markers and get ready to draw. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is draw a little bit of the tree that this snake is hooked onto, okay? So I want you to draw a straight line coming from the top of your paper down and out this way. And then I want you to draw a line, follow this line like this, and down here. This is going to be the bottom of our tree. We'll come back to our tree in a minute. First we're going to draw our snake. Okay, so have you ever seen a snake looped around a tree, like in Jungle Book or even in the pet stores, and they, they kind of coil up all cooler at the zoo? That's what we're going to do today. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is draw a curved line. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to curve around and right next to this, and like that. Okay, now I'm just going to draw a curved line. So look at that. It kind of looks like a big, a fat U, right? And then we're just going to draw again, curved, and one more curve in there. So he's all coiled up around the tree. Okay, now we need to draw the tree coming out this way. Well, we want to see the head, right? So it's going to come from the back. About right here, so this is going to curve around, and then right here we are going to see the snake's head. Make these lines about the same width apart, just curved lines. And then just make this a little bit fatter right there where his head is. Okay, so we're going to draw two eyes. And if you'd like to do a little tongue, you can. A little bit of a V back in. And then let's draw the tail too. Let's draw the tail coming off over here. So a curved line like that. And then we'll just do the same shape curved line, but we'll get a little skinnier when we reach the end. Okay, now the funnest part about snakes is deciding what kind of stripes or dots or what is what are they going to look like to blend in in their environment. And that's something I'm going to let you decide because you are the artist of your paper. So today I'm just going to do stripes, but remember you could do stripes or polka dots or zigzags. I think I'll do thin stripes like that and then I'll kind of do a thick stripe in the middle. That way I'll get to color him all different colors. So I'm going to go around my snake and add his stripes, and then I'm going to show you how to finish the tree. Okay, now remember, when we're drawing snakes, we don't draw straight lines if you're doing stripes. You have to draw them curved because he's round. And as you come around this corner, your stripes have to come around too. So that can be a little bit tricky, but if you practice, you'll get really good at it. Okay, and some stripes in the middle. Do you know that me and my kids, we had a snake, and he was beautiful. Emerald green color, about three feet long, so fun to hold. But do you know what we found out just a few weeks after we got him? He didn't like to be held. He wasn't actually supposed to be a pet, and we felt really bad because he wasn't very happy in our home. So I like to look at snakes now out in nature. Okay, so here's our tree. Let's make this a little bit more of a jungle tree. On this edge here, we're just going to draw some branches, and they're really easy. Just draw a line up and a line like this. So now if you think of this like a V, if you draw a V and draw another line here and a V, and another line here, then we get three branches coming off of one. And then we can just add leaves. Now since snakes usually live in really, in jungles, I mean some of them live in the desert, but this snake is a jungle snake, we're going to draw some big leaves. So we're going to curve one way and the other way. And we're just going to draw a bunch of big leaves like this. So curve up and back down, up, down. Okay, and I'm even going to put some behind like that. Okay, now to make these leaves more interesting, we're going to put a line right down the middle. All right, like this. Just gives your drawing a little bit more texture. It looks more realistic. Let's do that. And let's just finish off our tree over here. 
we'll just come like this down. Big trees have big roots, and what they are really is like a wavy, long triangle. So we're gonna take our line and go like this, and we're gonna get closer and closer till we hit that. And then we'll do another wavy line until we get there, and maybe a branch up here and some more leaves. Okay, now the way to make a tree look like it has texture is just add lines. All you have to do is kind of wavy lines. So starting up here, I'm just gonna draw a line down and then I'm just gonna keep drawing lines like this and they can go over each other and next to each other and then I'm gonna draw some on here. Because all trees have bark and this is the easiest way is just do lines. And then after you, when you color it in, those lines will still show up and it'll give your picture a lot of texture. So that's how you draw a jungle snake in a tree. I hope you guys remember that you are a great artist. I want you to keep on drawing and I will see you back here next time. Goodbye.